Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to rip apart an electronic fly swatter and later in the video, I'll tell you how I got it for free. This thing gives off a great little shocking spark and the rest of the video is going to actually create a starting point for future shock mods. Now that we've got it out of the packaging, I want to take a good quick look to see how it's put together or at least held together. There's a few screws in the back of the handle itself, which will come out quite easily, and there's a battery cover. Before we get going with taking it apart, let's throw some batteries in it and take a look at how it should be working. The circuit on the inside of this thing is designed to throw some serious volts on the outflow and as such I think it should go without saying but I'll say it anyway you need to be extremely cautious when working with something like this if you're gonna take it apart I really hope you do your research and make sure you know how to work with electronics and what these different components inside are capable of if you put the batteries in before you took it apart do make sure to discharge it fully before you remove the screws Once the screws are removed, you still cannot separate the parts of the handle, and that's because the warning label is preventing you from doing so. You're going to have to cut through that, but please note, the warning label points out that this is not a toy and you shouldn't be messing with the internal components. All of that to say, it is the reminder that it is entirely your responsibility for anything that happens once you start taking one of these apart. I'm actually going to be using a little bit of force to separate the two halves of the racket head itself because I'm not going to be reusing that in the next project that I use these internal components for, so I'm not too worried about cracking or breaking the plastic parts. With everything fully separated, you can see the three different metal meshes that were utilized to make the contact points. The outer two parts are connected to the negative side of the terminal coming off of a capacitor, and the center point is the hot section. At the business end of the circuit board, you're going to notice this capacitor, which is the thing you need to be extremely cautious about. You do not want to touch the leads underneath that because you do suffer the risk of a serious shock if you make contact with that, if there is still a charge held. For safety's sake, it's always wise to use a safe method to make sure that you double check and discharge that capacitor before you start messing with the circuit board. I'm already building out a project with this circuit board and the components, which is going to be the subject of a future video. So I do want to go ahead and put the PCB back and go ahead and disconnect the wires from the metal meshes. This will be used intact for a future video project. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and strip the ends of the two negative leads coming out the capacitor as well as the positive. Does that give you a hint as to what I want to do with this next? While you're thinking about that, I'll mention how I got this for free. Harbor Freight actually sends out coupons by email and oftentimes they give away free things with the purchase of anything. This time, they were giving away a free zapper swatter. How could I say no to that? Well, the comment in the bottom left gives you a little bit of a hint of where I'm going with this. But if you don't want to use one of these for its intact purposes, there's a lot of great parts you can take out and salvage for other projects. Take a look at the screen to see what I found on the inside of my electronic zapper. When all is said and done, I'm already having a lot of fun with something I essentially got for free. Thanks for taking the time to stop by Dialed in DIY to watch me dismantle something. I hope you got a little bit of something out of it, maybe even learned some cool parts you could use in another project. If you enjoyed it, let me know with a thumbs up. If you have the chance, check out some of my playlists for other videos like this, and if you can, subscribe while you're here. There's going to be plenty more Dialed in DIY to come.